Hello everyone, this is AK. In this video, we are going to see about the writing methods in PySpark. Writing in PySpark is one of the most common thing, mainly if you are transforming your data for your requirement. Once the data processing and transformation is done, you have to write your data into some destination. And for writing the data into destination, PySpark offers four different options. So I'm going to show you how to use those methods and its functionality. Let's start this video. First, I'm creating here some dummy data set. In this data set, I have two columns called name and age. We are going to write our data set by using different methods. The first method is called append. For using the mode append, you have to change the mode function and insert the parameter called append. So it will append your data into destination. So now the code execution is done. Let's display our data. You can see here our data is successfully inserted into destination but the functionality of append is it will basically do the appending operation every time. So it may cause the duplication issue. For example, if I run the writing code again, it will insert the same data again. So let's do the display. So see here all the data are inserted twice. So this is the functionality of append. And second one is the ignore mode. Ignore mode is basically if the data set or data frame which is already present in the file system, it simply ignore the writing operation. For example, I have the data set here and I already have the data set in my file system. So I'm using the ignore mode to write. If I run this, it will simply ignore the writing command if the data set is already in the path. So let's check. It simply ignored that writing operation. It is not writing anything. Let's try one more time here. So what happens if the data set is not already there in the file system? I'm running the deletion command here so it will delete the file in the path. So now let's run the code. So see here the ignore command actually writing the data into destination if the data is not already there. So this is the functionality of ignore command. Let's move to the next one. The third one is the error mode. Basically error and ignore mode are same. Ignore mode will ignore the writing command if the data set is already there. But the error mode will give you some error message like this if your file is already there. So in case of no data set present in the path, it executes the writing operation. So this is the process of the error mode. And the final one is the overwrite mode. By seeing the name itself, you can easily understand it will overwrite your data into destination. Suppose here four records are there in the destination path. And if I insert one more in my source and execute the overwrite command, it will simply truncate the destination data and again write the new set of data. So this is the functionality. Let's see the example. I already have four records. I'm inserting one more record in my source and then I'm writing my data frame into destination. So see here we have the fifth record coming in this. It means it is truncating the old data and writing the new data every time. So these are the four writing methods in PySpark. I hope you understand this concept. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week. Mm -hmm.